In order to take off this tie rod end, I'm going to have to put this 13 sixteenths. I don't know if you can see that. 13 sixteenths wrench on this back nut. And then I'm going to put this 11 sixteenths wrench on the actual tie rod end. I'm going to twist it off. I'm going to count the revolutions as I turn it off. And when I put the new one on, I'm going to count it back in so that way my alignment will be similar until I can actually go up and get the alignment. So I just broke it free and now I'm going to count the revolutions off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Fourteen. Look how bad that thing is. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Looks like twenty-one does it. Now to reinstall, I'm just going to do the same thing and count the rotations back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pretty close. Not close enough, so I'll have to work with that a little bit. But uh, as you can see, the replacement part I got from O'Reilly's uh, is a little bit different than the original. The original was a sealed unit, whereas this one has a grease fitting that I had to uh, attach and then grease up. So hopefully I can service this and make it last longer while I have this car.